Hey Tamzanti, I'm Lucas Khatebe and I'm back with another episode of Lucky Star Disc Dishes, our new cooking online series around the World Cup cuisines. If you missed the last episode where Fish created a delicious German halftime snack, head over to our socials to catch up. Let's welcome today's contestant. Today's legend is none other than Tiko Mudise, the general. Tiko, how are you doing? Well, good on you, sir. Thank you very much. It's nice to see you. Okay. In front of us here, we've got a mystery box mm -hmm. with a mystery ingredient here okay. of one of the teams that is participating at the World Cup. Okay. So it's Sarafi. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I, I wish. Yeah. Are you ready to see what it is? Are you ready to reveal? Yeah. Let's go on. Go on. And your country is. Do you know Trinchado? Trinchado, no. I don't even know what that is. Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Brazil. So you've got you've got Trinchado and the black beans. So you cooking cheese crusted tuna fritters. Time starts now. Good ingredients. Good ingredients. Yeah. You had you had you had different ingredients in coaches in your career, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I had a lot of I mean, coaches. I mean we, I mean which one would you think was your favorite? I think the best coach that is actually mm. I've got two coaches that actually I regard as the best coaches because of what they taught me in football. Yeah. I think the first one local is Peter Simani because he coached me for yeah, more than amazing. eight years consistently. Amazing. So I end up knowing exactly what is it that he likes. Mm. And uh, he came to Sundowns and actually changed the team to become winners because we were just the team that had a lot of superstars but without any victory. Yeah. So now he helped us a lot in terms yeah. of that. But also um, going to the national team to actually be coached by uh, Carlos Alberto Pereira. Yeah. I yeah. think it changed um, how we look at football in South Africa and there's a lot of things that actually taught me that I used after the national team to be able to become better every time that I played. So you've got, a, you've got a bit of Brazilian in you. I mean, you played for the Brazilian. <laughs> you sat down to <laughs> you know? Yeah, when, when Carlos Alberto Pereira called me into the national team, he wanted to call me earlier when I was still playing for Super Sport. Mm, mm, but mm. then I think Coach Peter Msimane told him that I wasn't ready. So wow. that actually, wow. we had a problem with wow. me and Pizzo because of that. But it, it's good that you didn't take it to heart. I did. Um, I was very young. I did because I felt all my peers are playing for the national team. For the team. national team. Yeah, yes. at the time you had Gert Skalvik, you have Sipo Nunes that are playing for yeah. the national team and yeah. I'm not given a chance to play. So I took it to heart. But now we're all watching. Yeah. You know, watching the World Cup. Yeah. I mean, what about the results? Saudi versus Argentina. For for a while, people criticized Messi because of the performance that he, he brought in into the into that game. I think he was mm. he was walking, he was sulking, and you could yeah. see, you know, like yeah. the team needed him most, but um, he wasn't there. Yeah, there we go now, uh, Tiko. I mean. What's next? I can see your pen is already on the fire. Yeah, it's already on the fire. So I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil in here and Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then look at the cheese in here and That is nice. Let's do this. Oh, yes. I'm going to try three. Yeah. I mean, you've, you've, you've traveled. You, you've traveled a lot. I mean, what was your experience? I mean, look, the... I think the best experience that we got mm. was when we were at um, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, where the national team actually is camping. So we, are, we had an opportunity to stay there for um, a month. Wow. If you wow. think Neymar is the wow. best now, then you don't want to meet him at 16. At 16, oh, I can imagine, I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. Don't want to meet Tico at 16. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Wow. Yeah, no. We were wondering. No. You know that I was gonna taste that, but no, it tastes really good. quality. Thank you very much. Tastes nice, my man. I mean, the general in the kitchen. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And that's it for another episode of Lucky Star Disc Dishes. See you guys next time. <laughs>